Uncle Tim's. It's all good. Hey, welcome to Uncle Tim's Farm. I'm Uncle Tim, and I just wanted to take a minute to talk to you about... Uh, so just last week I did a, a video, and I was showing you the pond that had been holding water for well over a year, and then all of a sudden in one day it didn't quite dry up, but it lost most of its water. It dropped way down. Just in one day, all of a sudden seal broke somewhere and all the water just disappeared well last night well actually it was this morning at three o'clock had a big wild storm come through and i mean it got windy and lightning and thunder and it poured buckets and so i came by to check on the pond by golly it filled it almost back up to where it was before you can see across the way there right to the bottom of the fence and you can see around the edge of the pond where it, it was it's been a little bit deeper than this where it's where it was before but <clears throat> it's about 99 98 percent of where it was before so the interesting thing will be to see if it actually holds water again or if this is going to go ahead and seep out Maybe those little pigs got it sealed back up again. They're laying over there under those trees in the corner in the shade, being lazy. But I just thought I'd show you that how things can turn around so quickly. One day it's gone, the next, not the next day, but another day, it's right back to where it pretty much was before. Well, that's a pretty cool thing. So like I said, we will keep an eye on this, make sure that, or keep an eye on it, see if it holds water, stays full, or if it seeps back out of here. And I'll keep you updated. Let's take a walk over here and see what these little pigs are doing. Oh yeah, uh, the other thing is I showed you the water setup I was gonna, I had and I told you I was going to get a float, and there's a, I've got the float in there. And those black plastic floats. Those things work pretty good. I, I like them much better than those aluminum floats. Anyhow, I'm going to take a walk over here and check on these little pigs. They'll probably jump up and go running off when I get there. Hey, piggy pigs. Big pig pigs. Big pigs. Big pig pigs. <laughs> They're so silly. <coughs> oh yeah. Scary. Looks like they're all doing really good. Growing, stretching out, getting nice and long. I'm really pleased with that female there, the one with the ear tag. That's the one I'm keeping to use as a breeding stock. She's really looking good. Nice and long. That's what I'm looking for. Something that nice and long, have nice long, big long bacon and, and pork loins. And then good hams. Yep, she's a good looking one there, the one that's down in the water. Good looking pig. These other ones will be processed this fall. So if you live somewhere in the area of Prospect, Tennessee, and are interested, reach out to me and let me know. Because I'll have at least one of these. Some of them are spoken for already, but there'll probably be at least a couple available. Well, maybe one available. Yeah, at least one spoken for, and then I'm going to be processing one, and then maybe, maybe two of them will be available. We'll see. So the pond's back, filled up, and keep you updated on it. Thanks for stopping by, and I will see you next time. See ya. Bye.